Hey, this is Scott, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Airport Helipack version 2.0 from Think Tank. So it's been a while since I reviewed anything from Think Tank, and this time I have something a little bit different from what I reviewed in the past. It's for the DJI Phantom Drone. It's a relatively simple product, so I'm gonna to try to keep this short and sweet, just hitting on the points that I think are most critical. Working from the inside out, the inside design is very straightforward in that it has a space for the Phantom, as well as a little bit of extra storage down the bottom for things like your iPad, the remote control, chargers, batteries, and even more. Normally, I'd complain about the entire inside of the bag not being covered in a Velcro-friendly fabric, as it just seems like it's a waste in making this as versatile as possible, but in this case, it's different. This bag is very specifically made and marketed to be used with the Phantom Drone, and only having Velcro in those select spots in the top half means that if you take the dividers out for some reason, you'll be able to put them back perfectly in no time because you know exactly where they're supposed to go. While I do appreciate the versatility in other bags that have more freedom in their layout, I often find myself hating to remove anything once I find a setup that works perfectly for some situation because I know that it will be tricky to set that up perfectly again. In this case, there's no worries at all. But you do still have the freedom to arrange the bottom section how you see fit to put things like your remote, iPad, batteries, cables, and even extra lenses or camera bodies. The section around the drone itself can also be used to store things like batteries, the charger, or a camera body, even something like the Canon 5D. In the past, I've mentioned the Streetwalker hard drive was a little large and square for me since I'm small, and this is no different. As a backpack, it is large and a bit awkward, but again, this is fine for me in this specific case. This isn't the kind of backpack that I'd be taking out with me for a day out, wanting to be comfortable and convenient. It's a means of transportation, and while yes, you can carry more than just a drone in it, and it does need to be comfortable for situations where you may be hiking out to remote locations, I don't think that an awkward fit is as much of an issue. It does its job in the best way it can, and in terms of comfort, it's definitely more than adequate with a very padded back, straps, and even a chest strap and waist support for longer hikes or heavier loads. While I wish you could remove the chest straps when you're not using them, you can at least remove the waist belts so it can be less clunky when you don't need them. As a large bag, I'd also love it if there was a strap on the side as well as the top for carrying it in your hand, just as an option. There is a strap on the bottom though for ease in pulling it out of a car or even an overhead bin on an airplane. The outside of this bag is a really simple one. It has one large pocket in the front, and in this case, it's perfect for a sunshade, maybe some cables, documents, and other non-breakable things. It's not really padded, so I would hesitate to put anything like an iPad in here, but if you're careful, it could also fit up to a 15-inch laptop computer in here. There's one pocket on the side that could be used for something like a bottle, or the legs of a tripod that you can also strap in with the strap on the top corner of this bag. The zippers, the materials, and everything else is obviously up to Think Tank standards and therefore very, very high quality. If you're looking for something lightweight and comfortable to carry a drone in, this is a great choice. You can carry a drone and a lot more, and it's just a simple product that solves a simple problem. If you've ever used anything from Think Tank, you'll know exactly what you're gonna be getting before you even get your hands on this bag, but if not, I would definitely highly recommend it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. If you liked this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see more in the future, and as always, thank you for watching.